Hello everyone to the new video. In this video, I will showcase the tablet and desktop UI in the Chrome OS devices. I will showcase it on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet because it's a perfect candidate because you can switch from the tablet to the desktop mode by just removing the keyboard here. Uh, I will first start by showcasing the multitasking and navigation in the desktop mode, then I will showcase the tablet mode, then I will showcase if you have an external Bluetooth and the keyboard at home, how can how is the UI looks like when you are connected using these Bluetooth devices. So, but before we get started, please do subscribe and that will also motivate me to continue making these videos. In the first part of the video, I will show the navigation in the desktop mode here, which I have the trackpad here and the keyboard attached to the my uh, Lenovo Chromebook Duet. This will give you idea how in the Chrome OS you can do multitasking and how the uh, touch uh, activities like the trackback activities with the touch interface works here. So the touch like the on the screen, it works as you expected, but it is not optimized kind of. So it's better in the desktop mode, just use the uh, trackpad and the keyboard here or the mouse if you had. So if I want to see the apps that I have, two fingers up, then I can see the recently opened apps and also I can search through the settings and also in the in the website, in the internet, I can search also. Then you can also come to this also by just clicking on the icon here or by just clicking on the search button on your keyboard. So if you also swipe up one more time with two fingers, then you come to the app drawer that you are familiar with in the Android tablets, for example. So now I have here two tabs open. I In the Chromebook, I will try to go to the multitasking mode here, just three fingers swipe down with the trackpad here. I just use the three fingers here. And then you have the both uh, menus here. I will try to open them side by side in the multitasking. You can see how it works here. And if I want to resize the, like a window size, I can come here. As you can see in this icon here, if you resize it here, then the both will, windows will resize spontaneously. That's also useful. If you try to resize it in the other locations here, then you just move one of them. Then you are kind of screwed because in order to go back to the same mode, you have to come again and try to both of them to go back into the multitasking. And if you want to bring one of the windows in a full screen, you just swipe down and up in the middle, then you're in the multitasking, uh, like in the single window here. So if I want to go to Gadget here again, I wanted to show also with the three fingers also swiping left, you can go to the next one and the come to the right one. I will try to, to go to work here. That was a mistake because both of them were in gadget. Let's see, okay, now we have two different websites with three fingers swipe left. I will go to the uh, Engadget website and the tabs here that you see in the up, they're open and with the three fingers, I can go to the next one. It's also useful kind of. If you want to close it, you can also close the tab from here or just with the three fingers tab, it will close it also. It's also useful, I found it. So one more thing I want to showcase here, how the multitasking in the desktop mode works. If I open two apps here, I will open the tables and I will open the docs here from the Google. I will separate them to two different windows. You're familiar with this from the Windows and the Macs. It's exactly the same how it works actually in here. Now what I will try to do, you can of course go to the multitasking mode and you can put them side by side as I showcased before, but you can also open a new desktop up there. As you can see, now I have two desktops Then you can drag one of them and go to the second desktop and you put it in the second one. Now in this, we are in the second desktop. And if you want to go back to the first desktop, you just swipe with four finger, right and left. With the four finger, you just easily swipe between them. And you can make also this one also full size. So you have two different applications in full size in two different desktops, which in this tablet, it makes sense because the scene size is a little bit small. So you need a little bit more uh, like a screen 
size here for better productivity. This is a test I will write here. Then I will try to copy this. You know how the copy works. I'm simple with the control C. You're familiar with it. Then control V and there it is. You have it in the other one. So it works really good here. Now I will show how the tablet mode works. So if you deattach the keyboard here, you will go immediately here to the tablet mode. You can see that the apps here, app drawer, that's your desktop here kind of. And if you want to go back, you just connect it here sometimes it's a little bit doesn't work properly. Now you see we went back to the desktop mode, but you can also try to flip the keyboard completely and right back. And now you're also in the tablet mode, kind of. This also a similar concept to what you can see in the convertible uh, laptops, kind of, that exists for the Chrome OS. So I will try to now to use it in this mode, kind of. I will try to go to the multitasking mode by just swiping up, you can see it. I have also another desktop that I opened it in the previous mode. Now I will try to close this desktop. Now, to, in order to close it, I will just hold it on it. An icon, you can see the bottom here to close it. Now I close it. Now I wanted to showcase that if you close this desktop in the tablet mode, you cannot go back. So now you cannot open new desktops kind of. So in order to do that, you have to go to the desktop mode with the keyboards and the mouse, then you can do that. So here you would expect how it will work the multitasking. You know, you're familiar with that from the uh, Android tablets and also iPad. You just need to swipe between the, go to the, you can just open two applications side by side and you can change the application like by just swiping up in which one you want to change kind of. It works perfectly, but in general, I'm for productivity that I need, I cannot use this tablet mode because the keyboard is a small kind of, and it, can, it doesn't work. But if you want to for sure go to the internet and browse internet and watch something nearby kind of, you can do that. That works perfectly, I would say. Let me try to close the windows. Now I will go to the, just the, one link here. Now you can see I have this here. Now I will open a folders app here. Now I have the folders app. Now I will try to multitask them side by side. Just hold them, drag it to the left. And this one, then you can resize it. But in here, then you, it resize automatically both of them kind of. You have no other option here. In order to close the app, you can just open it and swipe it up. And the same way here. Now we are back into the desktop kind of. The last thing I wanted to show is how the mouse and keyboard support as a Bluetooth support works here. And it's interesting when you connect the mouse here, I will try to do that. Now I connected the kind mouse here. You can see that the automatically went from the tablet mode to the desktop mode. And what you can see is the icon here. This is a multitasking icon here down there. When you click on it, then it comes to this multitasking mode. You can add also new desktop. So we went by completing the desktop mode. And if you ask why we have this icon, it's because of the this uh, two fingers swiping up or three fingers swiping up that we were going to the multitasking mode uh, when we were using the desktop mode and the trackpad. Now in order to, we don't have this trackpad. So the solution that Google went for is using this item icon here. So when you click on it, you will go back to the this multitasking part here. So I will try now to connect the keyboard that I have here, just to showcase how it will work if you use it on the monitor, like an external monitor, how it will look like. I turn on the Bluetooth, now I have to connect it. I think it's automatically connected. Now I will try to also write in this, like, yeah, you can see it works perfectly. Now you can use it also as a more like a desktop mode. And if you connect this to the external monitor, you can also get a full HD with some USB A to USB C ports. You have, there are some links in the internet that you can find how to get a full HD resolution in the external monitors using the Lenovo Chromebook Duet here. But in general for the Chrome OS, uh, like the laptops kind of, you can also easily use this keyboard and mouse as external and also 
that will increase your productivity in general with a bigger monitors if you have at home. So let's sum up. I used the Lenovo Chromebook Duet to showcase how the navigation in the desktop mode and tablet mode works in the Chromebook devices. I use the Lenovo here because it's the best candidate as it can convert from the tablet to the uh, desktop mode by just removing the keyboard. And I showcase that you can really use this device for the productivity. There are a few times that you will experience some lag in this device. And uh, in my case, I am satisfied with this for doing some Word documents and uh, preparing some uh, work that I need for the job that I need in university. So if you want to use the multitasking in the tablet mode, it's similar to what you would see in the Android devices. So there is not that much difference there, but you cannot open different multiple desktops when you are in the tablet mode. And uh, I found that you can also use the external Bluetooth and external keyboard. I showcased it, how it works. It works also really fine without no delay and latency. And if you have external uh, monitor at home, you can just connect it to that and you can increase your productivity. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys in the next one.